Hi and welcome to this DCPWare tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Pinterest boards. So let's open up the web browser and in Google I've typed in Pinterest for business. So before you create these boards, you need to set up a business account for Pinterest. It's not like a normal account, but you just have a few extra bits of information when you create a business account. So type in Pinterest for business and then scroll down the page and click Pinterest business here. And when you click on that, you can scroll down the page and you'll get down towards the bottom and you can say get a business account. So if you have a personal one, that's fine. But if you're running a business, I'll suggest that you create a business one. So let's close that and let's assume that you created that business account and then you log in. So you put in all your logos and your brand and all that good stuff. You put that in and give your give your Pinterest account a name. But here you can see I've started to bookmark quite a lot of my tutorials and a lot of my graphic design work. So here you can see an increase in the number of impressions, the number of saves and the number of clicks. That's what I want to see. I want to see an increase in the amount of traffic that's going to my YouTube videos, but also to showcase the work that I've done inside my portfolio for my business. So how do we go about creating a board? When you log into your business business account, you'll go to the business hub. You'll click up here and then you'll see profile, profile. So let's click on profile and it will actually show you what other people will typically see um, on your uh, Pinterest account. So this is what my one looks like, right? So it shows me activity. This is only visible to you. So it's just giving me some basic stats. You've got community here and this is like people that you're following and what they're doing. And then you've got the boards here. And you've got all your pins, right? So what have you actually pinned? Uh, just a holistic view of what you've pinned. But let's click on boards because that's really, it's all about creating um, um, almost like folders, you can think of it. That's how I like to think of it. So you can see I've got ones for Adobe After Effects. I've got Blender ones here, Instagram tutorials. I've got logo design, website design. So these are more visual graphics, but these ones are actually tutorials, yeah? So let's go over to my YouTube page. And when we go to my YouTube page, we're going here for a quick reason. Let's just explain. I'm going to go to uh, playlists. So just like in, in uh, Pinterest, you can have boards. In YouTube, you can have playlists. So think of playlists and boards are kind of similar in terms of their logic. They're like folders, right? And I want to create a new, let's say I want to create a new playlist for something that I haven't done yet. So let's have a look down here. Let's do one for, um, let's see. Let's do one for this this example here, this pixel, right? Tutorials. So I'm going to click view all view all playlist here. So I just I know there's only two tutorials in here. There's not many, but I'm going to create some more. I'm just going to copy this name, pixel tutorials. Let's copy that that title there. I'm going to go back to the website and create a new board, create board, and I need to give it a name. So I'm going to call it pixel tutorials. And you can turn this off to keep the board secret, but we don't want to do that. We want it to be visible. So I'll click pixel tutorials and click create. So once I've done that, it says save some things to it, right? So these are things that other people have done. I don't really want to do that. I'm going to close this. And um, let's see, let's just go back to, this is what I normally do, right? You can click the plus sign here and you can start adding content to it. I'm going to show you how to add videos quite quickly. Um, so let's go here and go back to the profile and we'll go back to the boards and we should see an empty one here, Pixel Tutorials, right? It's empty. So I want to now share my YouTube videos into this Pixel Tutorials. So let's go back to YouTube and we'll click on one of these tutorials. Let's click on this uh, first one. So I'm just going to open it in a new tab. I'll pause it and I'm going to click on share here. And inside the share options, you'll see Pinterest. So I'll click that. And now you'll see all of the different boards that I've created and we need to look for that new one that we just created, Pixel Tutorials. So I'm going to click click on that and then it will save that video to that that um, that board. So let's do the other one as well. So we'll close these two tabs. We've done, um, I believe, the first one we just did. So let's click on this second one. And we'll go to share and we'll click Pinterest. You'll see that it's listed first now because when you click on these, these icons, the last one that you click will be the first one displayed here. So let's click that again. And as default, it will always pick the uh, the top choice. So that's the last one that I selected before, right? So let's click that one. And we can close this now. And we can go back to Pinterest. If we refresh the page, we should see two videos in there now, two videos. And if we click inside, we can see those two videos here, like this. So if we click on that video, we can then click on this button and it will take us to that video. So people can now uh, navigate and see your content right quite clearly um, and this is the way that I've increased some traffic so if you look at blender for example 
you can see like uh, the impressions, the number of people that have saved it and the number of people that have clicked through to the videos. So a good example is here, 1.5K views, 11 um, pins or saved, and then four click throughs to that particular video. So there's quite a lot of Blender ones here and I need to go and increase the amount of content I've created for this pixel art. So there's two types of boards, really you can, you can mix them together. There's a uh, tutorial based ones that I do and then there's graphic based ones. So if I click logo design, for example, all of these are bookmarks from my website. So if I click here, for example, on jedirobe.com, and if I click on that logo, it will take me through to the portfolio of where that particular image was saved from, right? So what you can do, let's say, as another example, let's say if I want to save a logo into here, right? You can see all the different logos that I've got here. <coughs> let's go to my website. Let's go into my portfolio and then we'll click logo design. And let's just see, we've got this Jedi Rogue Star Wars one, right? That's that one there. Let's get quotes. Let's click on that one. And we can copy this URL, copy it. And then we can go to Pinterest and click the plus button. And then it says, um, let's see, actually, how do we do this? Get pin code, upload, edit, add section. We don't want to do that. We want to add a pin, uh, create pin here. So we click next. So now, uh, let's see. Let's just finish this little tutorial. So it's add, add a link, right? Save from site. So if we enter the URL here and then click this button, it will show me, it will grab the logos from that page. So it's grabbing any images that it can find from that page. So it's grabbed these three. I'm going to click on this middle one and then click add to pin. So now that's the logo that it's going to add and it wants to tell everyone what this pin is about. So maybe we'll just copy this title here and we'll paste it here. And then this was a link, alternative link that you could add, right? So let's click publish and then uh, see your pin, right? Let's have a look. So here you can see the pin, this is the title, this is the link here. So if we click here, it will go through to that particular uh, that particular pin. Let's just see that in the profile, in the board. If we click on logo design, we can see that pin is there now, right? The one that I've just pinned right here. Let's refresh it here. I've actually got two copies now because I've used it twice. But you can see that it's showing the same number because it sees it as a duplicate. So really we can go in and edit this and we can delete it. If we refresh, we'll just see the original pin there. So you can pin images and you can pin um, videos as well using that same technique, right? So that's how I go about using Pinterest. You can see all the different things. Really I'm focusing on more YouTube tutorials, but I've got a lot of website design stuff up there as well. A lot of the web projects uh, that I've done previously, not all of them, but quite a few showcasing quite a few different web projects as well. So it's a nice way to promote your, your business and your artwork. So if you're in graphics or if you're doing multimedia stuff or even social media, then this is a nice way for you to um, you know, promote your work. For me, I fundamentally use it for tutorial based stuff. That's how I get traffic to some of my YouTube videos. So that's how you go about creating a board in Pinterest. And that's how you go about adding a video or adding a image piece of content. Now just one little note, if you check the link in the YouTube description, I'll put a link to another tutorial. Let's just close this. Let's just go back here and I'll go to, let's just find Pinterest. Uh, let's see. What I'll do is I'll add a video to show you how to add the Pinterest bookmark tool. So I'll put the link in that into the YouTube description. And that's something that you can now, um, when you hover over here, you see the save button. It just saves a bit of time. So when you hover over an image, a particular image, you're able to save it quite quickly. You can just click the save button and it will generate everything for you, the, the location, the title. Uh, but that's another tool. It's a, it's, a, it's a plugin for Google Chrome here. You can see. Um, 
So I'll show you that in a separate tutorial because I've already made that. So I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. So let's minimize this. That's how you go about creating Pinterest boards and how you save videos and how you save image content. And I'll put a link in the description show you how to create or install the Pinterest bookmark tool on Google Chrome as well. I hope you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.